Adobe Firefly is easily one of the most exciting tools Adobe has released in years. And in this video, we're going to test it the right way, not just by throwing in a quick prompt or two and calling it a day, but by trying out six completely different prompts across multiple styles, formats, and creative categories. That includes everything from hyper-realistic photos to 3D renders to clean vector artwork. So you can see how Firefly handles a wide range of design challenges. What makes this walkthrough different is that we're going to use Adobe Firefly the same way a regular person would. There's no fast typing, no tab switching, no sped up footage. Just real, natural use of the tool with slow scrolling, clear visuals, and thoughtful prompts. So you can actually see how Firefly responds, how its interface works, and how the results evolve depending on what you ask it to do. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is Adobe Firefly? At its core, Firefly is a generative AI tool from Adobe that lets you turn text prompts into stunning visuals. It's similar to other AI image generators like Midjourney or Dolly, but with one major difference. It's built by Adobe and designed specifically for creators, designers, and people who want to actually use their generated images in real projects. That means everything about it feels more polished, more professional, and more ready for real-world creative work. When you first open Firefly, the interface is clean and inviting. You're met with a text box at the top and a set of categories to choose from. You can stay in the default text to image tool or dive into more advanced options like different aspect ratios, visual styles, or even custom color palettes. But the beauty of Firefly is that you don't need to tweak much. It works beautifully even with simple inputs. So for this demo, we're testing six different prompts. And the goal here isn't just to show off what it can do, as said. It's to help you actually understand how to use it yourself. You'll see every click, every scroll, every variation. No rushing, no cutting away. We want this to feel like you're sitting right next to us, learning how to use Firefly for your own creative projects. Our first prompt is a great starting point. Something like a fantasy castle at sunset ultra realistic style. This gives us a chance to see how Adobe Firefly handles lighting, detail, and realism. Right away, you'll notice that the tool generates not just one image, but a whole set of results, all of which feel polished and visually cohesive. You can see how Firefly automatically understands elements like atmosphere, shadows, perspective, and architectural design without needing any extra instruction. Then, for the second prompt, we go in a totally different direction. Cyberpunk city at night, glowing neon lights, rainy streets, 3D render. This one leans into stylized world building, perfect for sci-fi fans, game designers, or anyone who loves that Blade Runner aesthetic. Firefly interprets the mood almost instantly, adding those signature neon reflections, dramatic colors, and cinematic camera angles. Again, no adjustments necessary. The prompt does all the work. Next, we shift gears again with something fun and simple. Flat vector art of a cat astronaut colorful background. This prompt tests a totally different category of design, something closer to what you might use in logos, social media graphics, or web design. Firefly generates a clean, bold, and cartoon-style image that feels like it could have been made in Illustrator by a professional. This is where Firefly's range really starts to show. It doesn't just do photorealism well with EI, it nails abstract, flat design too. And one of the best things about Firefly is how fast the results load. You're not sitting around waiting for each image to render. Most of them show up in just a few seconds. And when they do, you get multiple options to choose from right away. If you want to refine the prompt, tweak a word, or ask for something totally different, you can do that in one click. What really separates Adobe Firefly from other tools, though, is the polish. The interface is intuitive. The results are consistent and everything feels like it's part of the broader Adobe ecosystem. Meaning if you're someone who uses Photoshop, Illustrator, or Premiere Pro, the learning curve is almost zero. It's made to feel familiar. So far, we've only covered three prompts, but even just from these examples, it's already clear that Adobe Firefly isn't just a side project or an AI experiment. It's a fully realized creative tool and it's built to serve real artists, marketers, designers, and creators who want to move fast and still produce stunning visuals. 
In the next half, we'll push the tool even further. We'll dive into more abstract ideas, test weird aspect ratios, and even try blending concepts to see how flexible Firefly really is. Now that we've tested the basics, realism, 3D, vector art, let's push Adobe Firefly a little further. This is where things get interesting. We're moving beyond surface level styles and into the kind of prompts that challenge creativity. We're going to see how Firefly handles abstract ideas, emotional tones, and weird visual mashups, because that's where real creative power shows up. The fourth prompt is more conceptual. A dream melting into reality, surreal landscape, dolly style. This isn't just about looks, it's about feeling. You'll see how Adobe Firefly interprets that emotional surrealism with warped shapes, dreamlike colors, and haunting shadows. It understands visual metaphor better than most people expect from an AI tool. The output is strange, beautiful, and sometimes even a little unsettling in the best way. Next, we test something more grounded but still creative. Minimalist product mock-up. Floating in space, clean white background. This one matters for anyone working in branding, e-commerce, or design. What we found is that Adobe Firefly delivers clean, modern results with proper lighting, balanced framing, and just enough realism to make it useful. These are images you could actually use in a presentation or campaign. No extra editing needed. And finally, the wildcard prompt, a robot holding a jellyfish in space, glowing colors, cinematic lighting. Totally random sus, but Firefly didn't hesitate. The results are colorful, moody, and detailed, like they came straight out of a concept art book. And that's the point. Firefly doesn't shy away from strange ideas. It tries, it adapts, and most of the time, it surprises you. That's what makes using Adobe Firefly so fun. It encourages experimentation. You type something in, even if it sounds ridiculous, and it shows you something you didn't expect. Then that gives you a new idea. And suddenly, you're in a creative loop, building on your own imagination with help from the AI. It becomes less about getting the perfect image and more about exploring possibilities. And what makes that easier is how natural Firefly feels to use. We never had to switch tabs, open extra tools, or fight with the interface. It's clean, intuitive, and responsive. And it keeps your focus on the creative part, not the technical stuff. For creators, that's huge. Whether you're designing a thumbnail, mocking up an idea, or just trying to visualize something that lives in your head, Firefly gives you a space to try without friction. And because it's browser-based, it runs well even on average computers. No powerful GP GPU required. Of course, it's not perfect. Some hands look a little off. Sometimes the details blur or the faces get weird. But that's not the point. Firefly is fast, fun, and helps you move from idea to image in seconds. And that's powerful, especially for creatives who need speed and inspiration. So is Adobe Firefly worth using? If you're someone who works visually, whether you're a total beginner or a full-time designer, the answer is yes. Not because it replaces your creativity, but because it multiplies it. It takes that spark of an idea and helps you shape it into something real. Firefly isn't just another AI toy. It's a tool built by a company that understands design, and it shows. It's polished, practical, and surprisingly inspiring. And from what we've seen in this walkthrough, it's clear Adobe Firefly isn't just hype. It's a genuinely useful creative tool, and it's only getting better.